Welcome to White Lecture Online. Sometimes you'll hear the, hear the terms taking the log of both sides or taking the anti-log of both sides. So the log of both sides, that seems to make sense, but what do we really mean by the anti-log? Well, before we learn what, to, what that is and how to do that, let's go to some basic definitions of logarithms. It turns out that if you take the log base b of b to the x, you simply get x back. And if you have the base b and you raise it to the exponent log b of x, you also simply get x back. Those are two very important conditions. So we take the log of base b of b to the x, we get x, and we take the base b and raise it to the exponent log base b of x, we get x as well. Now keep that in mind as we're showing what we're going to do here. Here we have two equivalent equations in different form the exponential form and the logarithmic form. On the right side, we're going to take the log of both sides. On the left side, we're going to take the anti-log of both sides. And that's how we're going to learn what we mean by the anti-log. Taking the log of both sides simply means we're going to take the log of the left side and the log of the right side. So on the left side, we end up with the log of base b of x. And of course, since x is equal to b to the y, then if we take the log of both sides, that should still be equal. So now we take the log of base b of b to the y. All right, remember, when we take the log base b of b to the y, what do we get? We simply get y back. That's the rule we have over here. The log of base b of b of x gives us x. The log of base b of b to the y power simply gives us y. So this becomes the log of the base b of x equals y, or y equals the log base b of x. Notice if we take the log of both sides of x equals b to the y, we get y equals the log of b to the x. Hmm. Notice that's exactly what we have over here. So to convert from exponential form to logarithmic form, all we have to do is take the log of both sides, and we get the logarithmic form. So does that work to go the other way? It turns out it does. We're going to take the antilog of both sides. What does that mean? Well, we're going to take the left side and the right side and make them the exponent of the base b. So on the left side, we get b to the y power, and that should equal b raised to the log base b of x. That's what we call taking the antilog of both sides. Since y equals the log base b of x, if I now make them both exponents of the same base b, they should still be equal to one another. But notice, when we take b and raise it to the log of base b of x, we simply get x on the right side. So that means that b to the, right to the y power equals x, and if I turn the equation around, x equals b to the y power, which is what I have over here. In other words, by taking the antilog of both sides of the logarithmic form, I end up with the exponential form. And if I take the log of both sides of the exponential form, I get the logarithmic form. And so the purpose of going from one to the other can be done by taking the log of both sides. So the purpose of taking the log of both sides is by going from the exponential form to the logarithmic form. And the purpose of taking the antilog of both sides is to go from the logarithmic form to the exponential form. Now you may say, why do I need to do that? It turns out that's one of the most important functions we do with logarithms. With logarithmic functions, one of the most important conversions we can do is go from logarithmic to exponential and from exponential to logarithmic. We do it all the time when we're dealing with exponential logarithmic functions. And so it's a good idea to learn how to do that. And you'll find out there's lots and lots of applications. So that's how you do, that's how you convert from one to the other and the other to one. If you don't remember the shortcut method, you can always fall back on this method. This will always work. <laughs> you don't seem terribly excited about this. <laughs> All right. It's confusing. It's confusing? Yeah. It is. Um, just have to, I just memorize it. You just straight up memorize it? Yeah. I think you need to learn those rules, and we're going to show the rules in simpler form as well to make it easier. It's a little bit confusing because we generalize it 
using base B, but typically we'll use base 10 or base E, and we'll show how to do that later. That makes it a little bit less confusing, I think.